between two regular season championships, two all around titles and five individual crowns. Montana State Rodeo is headed down to Casper, Wyoming later this week as they prepare for this year's college national finals rodeo. A total of 15 Bobcats will be competing on college rodeo's biggest stage and expectations are high for the women's team specifically as they chase their second national championship in three years. You know, honestly, this might be you know, one of the greater women's teams you'll ever see. Like a lot of women's teams have one or two people they really count on, and we have so many. That it's hard to put the right people on the points team because we have so many good options. Montana State was in a league of its own this season, winning the women's Big Sky region by more than 2,400 points. But of the eight cowgirls that will be competing in the blue and gold later this week, only four of them can count towards team points, one of which will be this year's regular season all-around champion, Paige Rasmussen. You know, this fall I had a minor injury in the goat tying. Didn't quite finish the fall off super strong, so coming into the spring, I took all that pressure off myself and said, you know what, this is the last one. Let's just go out there and have fun. And the Bozeman native is heading to CNFR with the same mindset as she prepares for her final rodeo in the blue and gold, hoping to put a stamp on her college career with one more championship. I have high expectations for myself and always have, but I think the difference this year from last year, last year was the year coming off my national title and all around, and there was a lot of pressure I put on myself. And this year I don't feel that. All I feel is I wanna go out there and put everything on the table. Now moving on to the men's side, after starting out the spring season in somewhat unfamiliar territory, sitting in second amongst the region, Montana State put together a 960 point performance during their regular season finale to clinch a come from behind championship. They were behind till the last rodeo and we lost Cody Faulkner. He was one of our main point earners. I was proud of the team for rebounding and coming back and still winning the region without him. And in a close battle for the men's all around, it was Bodie Spring, a junior from Montana State, who took home the honors. He'll be one of four Bulldoggers competing in the blue and gold, including the Big Sky Region's individual champion, Jaden Whitman. I mean, even though it's my first trip, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to perform. I'm really hoping for the best, obviously, but it's rodeo again, so it kind of depends on how you draw and how everything works and horses, anything can happen. And this year's College National Finals Rodeo will start kicking up dust Friday morning with goat tying. We'll have continuing coverage on MontanaSports.com. In Bozeman, Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports.